Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Nigeria Minister of Information orders detention of journalists, family members over poem read on radio. Now, serious, now true, they talk so. Hey, I can't believe this. So, is this a democracy or it is a dictatorship uh, government that we are we are having? Who is the Minister of Information that he should be ordering the is he is he is he the is he is he is he, is he, is he the law? Is he himself the court? Is he a lawyer? That is ordering uh, the, the, the detention of the journalist and his family. You see the kind of country that we are. By the way, my people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Thank you so much for always supporting us. Thanks for your thumbs up, your like and your share and subscription. Thank you so much. I mean, this is very critical and I'm just baffled by what I'm hearing and seeing before me. Let's go to the news and get all the details in full. Nigerian Minister of Information orders detention of journalists' family members over poem read on radio. Minister of Information and Culture Alaji Lai Mohammed has ordered the arrest and detention of a journalist, Rutimi Olajomi, also known as Oba, over a poem read during a radio program the minister considered critics of him. Before the journalist turned himself in to the police, the minister ordered the arrest of his wife, Mrs. Dorcas Jolayemi, and two of the media facilitators, brothers, John and Joseph, who were all locked up for eight, nine, and two days, respectively. However, since the journalist turned himself in, the police headquarters in Elori, Kwara State, on May the 6, 2020, has not been able to charge him to court or grant him bail. Insist, instead, they've been, he's been subjected to inhuman treatment at the center of the Minister of Information. Why condemning the situation in a statement on Monday by his national president, Dr. Osage Obayemina, the comment, the Committee for the Defense of Human Rights said the detention of Olai, Ol, Jolayemi was unlawful and detestable. The statement partly reads, the Committee for the Defense of Human Rights is alarmed at the continuous detention of a journalist, Mr. Rotimi Jolayemi, said to have been arrested at the instance of Minister of Information and Culture, Halaji Lai Mohammed, on the, on the account of a poem read over the radio, considered critics of the ministry. It is worrisome that Alhaji Lai Mohammed will not have a hand in the arrest of wife of the journalist, Mrs. Dokas Jolayemi, and two of his brothers, John Jolayemi and Joseph Toby Jolayemi, who were kept in detention for eight, nine, and two days respectively while the journalist was being sorted. Furthermore, that even since Mr. Jolayemi surrendered himself to the police headquarters in Ilori Kwara State on May 6, 2020, he's still being held till date without being charged to court or granted bail. The CDHR condemns in totality the violations of human rights of Mr. Jolayemi's wife and brothers, who lib whose liberty we are taking away from them for no, no more some reason than being related to, Olaje, to Jolayemi. The continuous detention of Mr. Jolayemi by the police at the instance of Halaji Lai Mohammed is tantamount to punishment to punishing a citizen for expressing of his own opinion. This is not justification or justable by our Nigeria today. Is this democracy? You must ask. We determined, we demand the immediate release of Mr. Jolayemi, a public apology to him, his wife, brothers, and payment of compensation for all four of them. Calls put across to the media aides of the minister, William 
Adeleye and his and Mr. Adeleye went on was wasn't answerable. We tried to contact him humorously and he did not respond. Well, Nigerians, this is one lawless country where every Tom Dick and Harry feel that they have a right. You know, you are a democratic elected. Uh, okay, um, ministerial appointments are, are, are appointed, right? That's what we are talking about, this old generation. It doesn't have a clue what democracy is about. Their mind is still that dictatorship, um, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the big boss. You, don't, you cannot speak. What did he say? How did you know that he was talking to you? Why do you feel so condemned? If you have done right by the people, why did, how did this poem get to you that you felt so hot? That you now had to order his arrest. And listen, the police, all of them now, all of them are not way, really. All of most of them are not way, really. They just simply they arrest. Person. Somebody will just tell you to arrest. You will just go ahead and arrest. You know they think safe. They just say arrest. You will just go ahead and arrest. Arrest what? Don't you even bother to know what the arrest is for. Or oh, have you have you no have you no mind of your own? Or have you no mind of your own? It's wrong. They just tell you, go ahead and arrest, and you just go ahead and arrest. How did this poem, what did he say in this poem that is so instigating that you have to go ahead? He did not call Nemo. He only read the poem. Eh? How did you know it was you that it was being targeted at? And if you have been targeted at, you should be ashamed of yourself, and you felt for you to feel it that much. The guy must have been saying the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. For you to feel it that much, that it burns you so much, oh... He said the truth and he touched you somewhere. Eh? It's wrong now. It's wrong. Very wrong. Very, very wrong. They arrested his wife as if that was not enough. They arrested the two brothers, had them in detention, waiting for this man. He's been, he, he just wants to suffer him. See, eh? When I go pay. All these human rights violations, you guys will pay. Is it because it does not have anybody in the U.S. like uh, Omoya Lesho Warren had? When the U.S. sent you guys letter, when they put fire for, for, for your bottom, did Nigerian government not respond? Everybody's speaking different language. Everybody's saying, yes, we gave them a pardon. Everybody's saying, yes, uh, the court has said, they said Nigeria has no, no regard for the law. How come Minister of Information is, look at it, all the ministers, go and look at their age. 60 and above. So you know that kind of mentality that that generation grew up with. When I'm talking, you don't talk. How come? Does, don't I have a mind of my own? Can't I ask questions? Can't I ask why? Can't I ask why? Why something is being done? Am I a dummy? You just ask, go, go, go and arrest somebody. I go, you go and arrest somebody. Eh? This is wrong, go. Very wrong. Nigerians, this is very wrong. This is how they killed Sarah. Uh, 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 just, you know, nah, nah, that guy, he don't resign now. Nah. See, all this evil that people are doing, uh, all of you, all of you politicians that are doing evil in this country, you will pay for it. You will all pay for it. Too. And your days of paying for it, eh, you don't near finish, you don't fight again. You don't near. What kind of nonsense be this one now? This is rubbish. What did he do to you that was so, that, that pained you to your bone? That you, 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 you did not just call for his arrest. You went ahead, started with his wife. You could not get him. You went ahead, continued. Uh-uh, uh-uh. This is bad, though. Very bad. Let's call it spade a spade, though. This is very bad. Please, oh, eh? Please, Nigerians, lawyers, human rights lawyers, and everyone who can help this, this man, please speak up. Don't be quiet. Because when we keep quiet, they will make them feel like they have, they have a right. But when everybody begins to, that's why, please, I will beg every one of you, make a comment. What happens with the comment is that it goes around the world. The world today is a global village. Everyone around the world begins to see it. And you never can tell the human rights agencies that will pick it up from even not Nigerians. And they will send a letter asking the Minister of Information what is going on and why this man has to be detained. You know, so please, Nigerians, please share this if this news uh, thumbs up. What it does, it makes the news to travel. The more we share it, the more we like, the more we, if you have not subscribed, you subscribe. It makes, it makes the, the, the whole thing come up the more. And more people are able to see and relate with it and say, okay, this is what is going on. And somebody is able to pick it up, you know, and they can, uh, Lion Mohammed can be prosecuted. It's only the minister of, uh, it's not even a good minister, safe. Journalist, uh, uh, Minister of uh, Arts and Culture. Wh which Arts and Culture in they do? 
what has it what has it done in Nigeria that that instigate that his, his, his department is even working? I'm just very not happy with what what I'm hearing that uh, you know Nigeria is is happening in Nigeria. This this is absurd. Anyway, my people, what do you think? Let's not forget to like, to share, to subscribe, to click on the notification button so we can get all our latest news. I want to say a big thank you for being out there. God bless you and bye for now.